This video demonstrates a number of techniques involved in stand-up paddleboarding, starting from a starter session through to an advance. Here I'm positioning the board so that I can actually step onto it from the key. Place your two feet in positions, get yourself nice and steady into the pause position. This is a position that you can go into in for a safety or a break, or if you feel insecure. The first time you go paddling, you'll do an arm paddle, which is fairly inefficient and the shaft is not upright and you tend to become tired quite quickly. The best thing to do is to start from the position of readiness and rotate your hips and raise your upper hand and drop the paddle in and rotate your hips back and around. Start in the same position, rotate your hips, drop the top hand upwards and the blade in, rotate back and back round to the start position. We now move on on how to actually move the paddle from one side to the other. You release the top hand and with the pendulum movement you swing it across the other side like so. We now move on to the front sweep stroke which you start from the higher hand side and pull the front around and then carry on around the other side. I demonstrate this here by making four short strokes and turning 360 degrees so the board is then turned right round. From this point we now look at front steerage where you, the higher hand side you put the blade in and rotate the blade to steer the front of the board. This is much the easiest way to steer it. You need a bit of way on and then you put the paddle blade in and angle it where, where you want to go. For stability, outrigging on the back of the blade is one of the best ways of feeling stable and this is an intermediate type of technique. You can then go to the front of the blade and then pull the front of the board over for a bit of steerage as well. I've now moved to a water ski stance and are aggressively paddling. At the same time you can feel a bit unstable and therefore a bit of outrigging is an ideal thing to do at this stage. If you're more advanced you can paddle on both sides and I'm now on the cat handed side of this stance and I'm going to go back to where I was at the start. I've now moved to the left hand side at a three quarter stance. This is a very nice where you can do something called Y paddling and this is the same thing where I'm able to paddle just on one side and control the directional of the board and you can see that I am tilting over at the top and using my core to achieve this you can paddle up to 10 to 25 times on one side and then swap over. This is a race technique the upper hand stays much higher it's a much shorter stroke and you use your knees for power to give you extra strength to push the board along and this is more effective particularly when racing. We're now reaching the end of the trip and I'm using what's called a draw stroke to pull myself into the key so that I can dismount the board without getting my feet wet and then finally I remove the board by lifting it from its leash and pulling it out and protecting the fin at the back. I hope this has given you a good broad spectrum of the type of strokes that you can do in stand-up paddleboarding. Come along for some tuition or one of our weekly trips and have some fun.